Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Petito. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. And in time, this too shall pass. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. Jerry Petito taught the class. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. Love's the answer, the greener grass. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. One day at a time, free at last. When you don't know just what to do. Just what to do, just what to do. If what you're feeling is really true. It's really true. Really true. Just keep your ideas safe and sound. Safe and sound, safe and sound. That's exactly how change is found. Change is found, change is found. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. And in time, this too shall pass. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. Jerry Petito taught the class. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. Love's the answer, the greener grass. I'm not an addict, I'm just an ass. One day at a time, free at last. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Jerry Petito Show on Hamilton Radio. Guys, I want to talk a little bit about my book. Everyone and anyone out there who knows me knows I am the author of I'm Not an Addict, I'm Just an Ass. I'd rather be a smart ass than a dumbass, guys. Because 31 years ago, I was a dumbass. But through the grace of God, I can honestly say now, 31 years later, I'm a smart ass. And yes, the word ass is in the Bible at least 40 times, and it means donkey, and that's what I was. I'm saying all that to say this. We've all had the roughest three years of our lives all over the world, not just here. And unfortunately, some have not made it, including friends and family members of mine. And what I want to say is everyone out there should know that there's always someone listening. I am always here for you guys. I'm a nutritional health coach, and I'm also a recovery coach. My services to you are free. Please, please, please reach out. If you think my book can help someone, because I do, you can go right to Simon & Schuster's bookstore, Archway Publishing. You can go on Amazon, BAM, uh, everywhere. Barnes & Nobles, it's everywhere. Guys, listen, if you truly, truly, truly cannot afford my book, please reach out to me about that as well. Okay? I want everyone out there to know that addiction is not a disease forever. Okay? It's not. I'm proof of that. Um... Go to my website, www.jerrypetito.com. All my pages are there. You can get some info there as well. Subscribe to the Jerry Petito Show YouTube channel. A lot of cool shows and a lot of great things happening, guys. Okay? Um, what I want to say is this. We have to start looking at addiction and recovery differently. You are not powerless, not over anything. Okay? Please don't believe the lies and especially through God. So having said that, I just want to say once again, I'm always here, always, always, always to listen. And if you need help, please reach out. So guys, you know I bring it, right? I always bring it. So I got a really cool show today, and I got some really cool guests. And we're also going to give you guys like a mini concert today. Okay? So I'm going to introduce this guy here first okay so michael zanman say hello to everyone how you doing hey okay well, thank you very much that's why i love this guy okay <laughs> so i'm gonna have him introduce our next guest but before we do this is why i brought this guy here okay i heard him sing um let's give ken ryan a shout out right yes. ken ryan ken. did a show it was one of the first ones i went to of ken's and I only gave my business card to two people, to this incredible vet Christian, right, yes. who I love, who's yep. incredible, and I'm trying to get him as a guest as well, and this guy here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Both of them are incredible singers and entertainers, okay? So this guy's going to crack you up even with just his personality. <laughs> so I want you to introduce your buddy, okay. and then I want you to tell them a little bit about and I'm going to make you tell them about your group. Okay, so I'm Mike Zaman, as everybody knows, and um, to my right is Steve Birnbaum. Now, Steve can tell you what he's done, but we met five and a half years ago, I think. Right. Five at, and a half years at ago. At an open mic. At an open mic that I finally got the nerve up to, or somebody pushed me up to sing, and he heard me, and we're leaving, and him and Darlene, right. the better half, right. were... I don't know if you were leaving or coming. We were leaving. And then you start to tell me about this band of, and you'll explain about the band. And I'm looking and all I could see was, oh God, I really don't want to make any more money. <laughs> so that's when he said, no, 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 you don't have to worry. We, we don't get paid. <laughs> and I said, we're, we're free. <laughs> I said, you know what? 
<laughs> the pressure's <laughs> off. Maybe I'll perform better. <laughs> See, I five told and a half you guys. years later, my wife is still working and uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, you want to tell us about them? Uh, yeah, we're uh, the group is the Stonebridge Jammers, and uh, it just so happened the week before I met Mike, uh, my lead singer told me he was moving to North Carolina because we're based out of an active adult community. So, Darlene and I went to the open mic. And right at the end, they were packing up, and somebody over here on my left said, one more. <laughs> and they pushed Mike <laughs> halfway across the floor. And you did Have You Heard. Have You Heard, right, yeah. man. So Mike did Have You Heard. I said to Darlene, I said, wow, this guy is really great. So after, the, after he was done, they packed up. I walked over to him. I said, Mike, would you be interested in singing with a group? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that, that's how that started. Uh, the group was already uh, in place at that time. That was right, 2016 or yeah, something like that? 2017. Yeah, we started in 2009. Mm. And it was just a few of us musicians just hanging out you know, on a Wednesday. And as more and more people started p coming in, it just started forming. And now we've been uh, doing this since, like I said, 2015, mm -hmm. last Wednesday of every month. Yeah. And uh, it's a pretty big show. We play to two, three hundred people every last Wednesday of every month. And uh, everybody I'll be seems there to like it. next month. Yeah, yeah you're going to be there, yeah. right? Yeah. Wait, this yeah. month. This right? month. This month. Today's right. the first. Yes. <laughs> right. This month. Yeah, you're going to be right. You're, you're going to be our guest, and uh, it should be a pretty good show. Yeah. Playlist but, is done already. So. But remember, we, we also, people heard about us. And so we started going going out we had a traveling band right and um i think what did we do first was it uh uh the mill no the, yeah the milltown american legion mm -hmm. we played in their pavilion first and that worked so well yeah <laughs> so but the covid really slowed everything up yeah. so you know march of 2020 basically everything stopped by us yeah. but we continue to play on the lawn by the yeah. gazebo at Darlene's house. Yes. <laughs> we played. So we always had a place to play through that whole summer. And then we went into Westlake. Yes. Right? We played Westlake. Um, we played Concordia. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we try and do some theme uh, shows. So last month we did Dirty Dancing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. so we did the whole set in order of the, the songs in order of the movie. And we had a screen above us playing the clips from the show as we were doing the whole set. And the crowd loved it, so Concordia called us and said, will you do it for us? So we did that also last month. But uh, we're still going strong, and uh, you know, we, yeah, we have a good time. Yeah, got a great idea. Because we did it again over at Stonebridge. But the one song where, no, I had the, that song. Yeah. So why don't you come up on stage, because we can throw you. <laughs> And you'd be like this in the sky. Okay. And somebody will catch you uh -huh. if there's people under 35. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm in. So, all right. You know what? I have some questions. Mm -hmm. Why don't we give everybody a little treat and we'll play the, one, the first song because that's, every, that's the, the group, right? Pretty much the whole group is singing. So, all right, Ruben, hit us with the first track and then we'll, I have some questions for you. Yes. And what's this one called? Uh, this was Evil Ways, right? Okay. Okay. We have an issue. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So how about if I ask a question first, mm -hmm. and then Ruben will get the track set. All right, so I love asking my entertainers this question. Who were your influences growing up? Let's start with you, Steve. Uh, my influences were the Beatles, big Good. time. Okay, cool. Um, my, I had a young niece and nephew, and I was the guitar player in the family. Okay. And uh, they'd all hang out in the bedroom. So I had to learn Beatles songs in 1964, 65, um, to entertain them. And that's how I did it. And they all play guitar now. That's all really my nieces, wow. all my nephews play guitar. Yeah. 
So now, what's your influence, Mike? And then we'll ha we'll play the track. Oh man, I I gotta follow that. Well, <laughs> I uh, you know I was brought up in Brooklyn. Okay. Very poor. So um, I have I'm, I'm just ending a 68 year engagement in my living room, but <laughs> when I was growing up, my greatest influence was the lady down the hall. <laughs> when I was singing, she bang on the thing and said. You're too loud. You're too loud. And that influenced me to say, I'm really good. I'm really good. And from there it was my firstborn. So wait, I have a question about mm. that silly story because you're it's serious true. here. No, and I love this. So when she was saying it was too loud, she was giving you criticism? No, she was, she was telling me I can't hear. I can hear too much of the music. Yes, so that's yeah. constructive criticism. And then, it's just so funny because it's true. About three weeks later, I started getting requests from the sixth floor shouting out the window that went down in that the courtyard. That is so great, it's a though. Story. You know. How old were you? Oh, God. About? About 10. So, all right, I love that story, and I'm going to mm. tell you why. Because they weren't yelling at you to shut up. They no. were yelling at you to perfect it. Yes. That's, that's amazing. And then at 14, I had my first band. It was, they were like 17. I was 14. And it was called Electric Mud. <laughs> Good name. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and yeah, I was very shy. I was four foot eleven until I was fifteen. I was really short. And I remember I was playing in a bar in Brooklyn under the Fourth Avenue or whatever it is, and this girl's staring at me. <laughs> oh yeah. And she's looking at me, and then I just looking down because I'm nervous. She said, "Oh my God, you are really good." And I said, Bill, my lead guitar player, Bill, we got to go. <laughs> I wish I was older. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was so scared. Thank you. Yeah, but I didn't let that happen again. So I had my first kid when I was 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And then, then when I was, right, it was born, I said, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Ruben, let's hear our first track.
You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> so amazing, amazing, amazing. So tell us, everyone that was in there, and, and who does what. Come on. Well, the uh, singers, everybody was singing. Donna took a lead. Phil took a lead. Phil is the lead guitarist okay. in the group. Everyone else was singing. Ellen, I think. The maybe. conga player, Ron, mm -hmm. is just terrific. Percussions and mm -hmm. conga, he's just great. It fills in all of that, you know, all of that uh, background. That's cool. Our drummer is terrific, mm -hmm. Herb mm -hmm. Nallet, terrific. We have a bunch of guitarists. We have Charlie and we have Audie and just a bunch. And they're terrific? And they're Bill. all terrific, yeah. <laughs> we do have the, the group, yeah. yeah, the group is, the group is uh, pretty tight because we, we rehearse three times a month leading up to the jam. Gotcha. So we, we, we get together, we do three hours and just fix everything up, pick what we're going to do, get it all, all going. And then we go into the jam, we do our sound check, and then we do two one-hour sets. And we've been doing this for years. So What's really funny is we, we practice it, we get it down, we make our notes. The next practice, we totally forget it because we're seniors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a question. So who's really in charge of yelling at the person that's messing it up? Okay. Me. Yeah, me. That's me. <laughs> Do you want me to show you the words? No, we, 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 actually, <laughs> we, we actually don't yell at the people when they mess up, and we make plenty of mistakes. Okay. The good thing is the audience doesn't know it. Right. What we yell all the time is that when we focus on a song for mm. an hour and a half, when we don't have to. Mm, <laughs> we, yeah. just, we just don't have to. But we, we get too, too engrossed. We really do. And, and we have the best audience ever. And very loyal. Oh yeah, they, they come they, and they're, yeah. oh, they're, um, I remember I had, I had like laryngitis. I'm trying to do Karamea or something. <laughs> right, right. And I and it, practice was okay. The sound check. And I felt something coming on. And just before the performance, I'm like, Steve, I, I can't do it. You gotta. <laughs> and he said, No, no, no. You'll see. The women are gonna love you. You sound sexy. <laughs> well, I screwed every song up, and not one woman came up to me and said, You sound sexy. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, we, had, we had a you. We had so a you know what I did? You. Bill! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say somebody at least came up and said not, you like not you. one, Stonebridge. <laughs> um, but I want to say something about all that because I'm just, I'm going to use the word fan, okay? I love music, right? So I'm not a musician. I'm not a singer. So we don't hear it the way you guys do. I know you know that, yeah. but you could probably practice for five minutes each song and it will sound the same to us if you practiced an hour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. We do. That's we, right. We, we, so, had, we had a Zoom meeting this morning okay. and, and we said exactly that. And it's the truth though. I could pick songs an hour before the show and we could pull them mm -hmm. off. Okay, so, exactly. So say yeah. somebody said... Um, all right, listen, guys, we saw you on the street, okay? You're now in a subway. We'll give you $5,000 right now to sing three songs. Could you do it? Yeah. yeah. Would it be perfect? No, it'd have to be 10000 right. <laughs> But it'll be perfect, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. So how come you don't take that with you when you're practicing? I, I, we overthink it. We overthink it. Yeah. But you don't have to. But we do. We do. We, want each, we all do, yeah. Each of us had different professions. Some of us actually were on uh, records like um, 
Where do all the hippies meet? Alex Downs, South Street. The sax guy, Alex Sax guy, one of our sax guys. Was on that? Was on, was on that. Records. Um, another sax guy. And he's with you? Yeah, well, yeah, he's on a hi yeah, hiatus right now. Right now, yeah. Where does he live? In Stonebridge. Stonebridge. Why wasn't he here? Well, he's, okay, he's, all right. Yeah. But hey. there's, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, the definition of, mm, yeah. we'll come later. Right. But, uh, but our other sax player, he t plays with jazz people. Jazz bands. Where's my charts? Where's my charts? And um, uh, then we have uh, the lead guitar player also has. He plays in Ho Holiday Express. Yeah. Down at Shore McClune's. Yeah. He plays in that. He has his own band and his own duo. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And he and he does that up and down the shore and all the bars okay. in Jackson. And, yeah. Okay. And our uh, bass player was on tour for three years with Jimmy Clanton. Oh, stop yeah. it! I yep. reached out to Jimmy and yep. he remembered him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, be, this is before Jimmy. Uh, I think Jimmy was just finding religion back then. Because I interviewed Jimmy. Did you? Oh, please. I remember. I, was, I love you, no, Jimmy. I Jimmy, I'm not kidding you, is the most down to earth. He really is beautiful man. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. So I was so honored. Yeah. Our bass player with Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Sturman. Yeah. Sturman. Yeah. And he played with him for oh, he was on tour with him for three years. Amazing, right? Yeah. So yeah. so when you take all of that, and then of course, keyboard guy, one keyboard guy, John played with funkadelic type of <laughs> That's guys. For I mean, fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah. The other keyboard guy, uh, he was like a corporate lawyer or something. Right. I, I just, wedding bands and all yes. of that kind of stuff. And, and then he, but he was also doing wedding bands. And his brother, too, I think. Right. And yeah. it just goes on. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, so, they're, so what I'm getting to yeah. is that we all want, have a little pockets of trying to be as good as we can. Yes. Yeah. But I get that. And, and listen, kudos, you know. But I'm just trying to let you know we don't hear your mistakes. Okay, we don't. Unless somebody's out there really terrible, we don't hear any of that. Right. We just hear, oh, wow, great. this is amazing. Okay? So, yeah. Ruben, let's play track number two. Um, you'll have to remind me, even if you want to text me, the next one he, when he sings first. Okay, so this one he's not singing, right? Okay, thank you. Song number two. Oh, he's number four. Gotcha. Thank you. I guess if you say so, uh -huh. I'll have to pack my things and go. That's right. Oh, Jack. Yeah. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, baby, listen, baby, don't you treat me this way. Cause I'll be back on my feet someday. And all I can to do, cause I know that I'm good. When you got no money, you just ain't no good. Well, Guess if you say so, I'll have to pack my things and go. That's right. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What? Hit the road, Jack. What? Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. Thank you. 
I guess if you say so, I have to bet the things and the road. That's right, hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. And don't you come back no more. Yeah. Hit the road, Jack. What? Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. So cool, so cool. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Audience, what do you think? We have an audience here today. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Live in studio, guys. Right here, Hamilton Radio, in our new studio. That's all we did one time. They said, leave the stage. Yep. Right? Yep. As they're sending before we went to the lead, and I disappeared into the back room, and everybody thought I quit the band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the girl shooed him off the stage. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so... Stonebridge Jammers. Stonebridge Jammers. Okay. Why that name? Uh, we had, um, when we first were starting, uh, we just played on the floor in the, in the ballroom. Just a bunch of musicians that got together. You sat on the floor and played? No, no, we sat on chairs. Oh, but, okay. But we sat in, on the, in the ballroom. <laughs> and um, we got a drummer, uh, John Smalley. We got a drummer. And that kind of helped us along because now we had a, somebody to keep the beat. And it was John that said, you know, we're really good jammers. And that's where the Stonebridge oh. Jammers came from. He named it. Yeah, he named us. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I was married to a drummer. Okay. Okay, so yes, that's right. Excuse me. I, I like music. All right, but I have a question. So you just said something. It helped you keep the beat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one, two things happened. When John joined us, he was able to lay down a steady beat for us. Before okay. that, we were all over the place. Okay. And then his problem was, is drummers need a bass player. Okay. And that's where Jeff came in. Okay. And the funny thing with Jeff is Jeff moved into Stonebridge. He hadn't played the guitar in 30 years, yes, you know, like since that. Jimmy Clanton, right? <laughs> and um, he, he owns a, a travel a, a agency. And he's, he was working, and he said, you know, he says, could you mind if, uh, if, if, if I join you guys? I said, sure. He says, I haven't played in 40 years. I says, fine. So he goes out and buys a guitar. <laughs> he had to buy a guitar. But he yeah. goes out and buys a bass guitar. Did right. he, like, say, I'm done with music and get rid of his guitars? No, it's just that he wasn't, I guess, after the Jimmy Clinton tour, he settled down and needed a job, and, you know, okay. and he wasn't making enough money with that. What did he do with it? I'm just curious. What did he do with the guitars? Oh, he probably got rid of them all yeah, 40 crazy. years ago. Oh, right, yeah, go ahead, yeah, continue. Yeah. 40 years ago. So he, uh, he shows up the following month uh, with, with, uh, with a bass guitar, and he's, you know, he's rusty, but he's, you could just tell he's good. Two weeks later, he had a hip replaced, right? right? right. <laughs> Two right. weeks later, he had a hip replaced. He missed three weeks and was back playing. <laughs> we got him right back. But we, we had we, no, there were no gigs back then. Yeah, there was no gigs, right. but he was back within a month, like in three weeks. So I like to talk about stupid words that are spelled the same, blah, 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 okay? And I, and I know men probably created the words, or they would be different, but base, spell it. B-A-S-S. -S. That's not base. I know, but Okay, but I'm just saying. But right. that's how we say it. I know. Okay, that's crazy to <laughs> right. me. Yeah. Wait a minute. Right. That's yeah, we don't fish. say bass, yeah. we say well, but base. But it should be B-A-S-E then. Or Right. But it's B-A-S. I I'm get sorry. it. Did you steal that? No, look, I didn't steal it. I <laughs> am this crazy person with words. Uh. All right, so anyway, so I want to ask you guys something musically. So when I listen to musicians and singers, sometimes I'll say, I'll put them on the spot, and I'll say, give me something right now. Sing it. The majority of them look at me like, I can't believe you just did that to me. I'm not ready. I don't understand that at all. Young, up-and-coming, incredible indie artists that I've interviewed as early as nine years old have no problem. They don't even hesitate. They just mm -hmm. want to sing. Why is it that the older musicians 
feel like they have to be prepped? Uh, that's probably a well. Like for me, is I don't remember. I don't memorize songs. We have too many. Okay. I have 400 songs in our catalog. Okay. And we don't play the same song twice for five months. Okay. Every every set list is completely different, and we haven't picked up a song in five months. Okay. I can't remember all those songs. Okay. So we have uh, iPads in front of us, and we have tabs in front of us on the stage. So I'm reading tab the whole time okay. for the guitar work. And Mike, he remembers most of the, so you know, the, the lyrics, mm -hmm. right? But you have it in front of you, too, just, to, it, ref yeah. just to refresh him, yeah. you know, refresh. So Mike could sing cold right now. Yep, he, 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 he can. He, he, I he know can that. He can do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't, though. Uh, yeah, can, you, can I jump? Can I jump in? Yes, please okay. jump in. Um, I, I think just like in life, uh, everything's become sterile. Uh, when we saw 13 Ghosts in 1960-61, it was like, oh, my God, petrified. And now, it, it, now it's like silly. All those things, interracial marriage, uh, you know, the song um, uh, by coming to my door, baby, right? And, and wow, you know, so it shocked you. Um, uh, coming out of Detroit, it shocked you. And then you didn't have iPads, you didn't have distractions, you didn't have the me generation, all that stuff. Not that. No, I get it. I get you it. had poetry and lyrics. You got it. And those lyrics meant something to you. And, and we have friends who know every word to every song. And I'm like, how the hell? Heck, do you remember all that? Because it means something to them. We have singers, they, they'll say to them, w w why is Mike singing that? You should be singing it, and vice versa. It's because there's another thing called passion. Mm -hmm. And when then somebody in the band says, I want to do this, and, I, and you know it's really a song for me, you keep your mouth shut because they have it. They want to do it. And 99% of the time, make it 100%, because i got to go back and see them. <laughs> they do it. Like, okay. Wow. Oh, okay, you know, you okay. Know I mean? Yeah. They pull it off. They okay, pull, beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. they do it with, with passion. Yeah. You've lost that now. It's gone. I don't want to say it's gone. It's, it's lost. We've, it's going to be hard to get back. Okay. There are some singers that have it, and that's why they're singled out. That you can, you can okay. Sp okay, that's me. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. No, that was beautifully said. Thank you. I, I like to ask, I'm going to say silly questions because we want to know what makes you guys tick and what happens up here. And so I'm going to ask you a question. So drummers, right? And I was married to one. So when I see a drummer pick up two sticks and they're just doing this and this, what how, was, how did they know to do that? And where does that come from? And what are they reading? And so to, to us, it's just all craziness, incredible craziness. You know, we don't, there's no rhyme or reason to any of that to us, okay? Mm -hmm. So I think it's incredible what you guys do and how when you come together, look what you create. Yeah. Well, well yeah, the, the drummer, we, uh, Jeff and mm -hmm. I and Ron, we watch Steve, our sax guy, going off and doing some solo and we shake our heads he has nothing in front of him that's my playing. point we're amazed mm. okay so you're even amazed <laughs> we're <laughs> amazed yeah. Okay. yeah jeff says how does he do that i said i have no idea and, and if we really take it further who created the first musical note to show someone and the first okay you're going to play the drums this thing you're going to hit it with you know let's get sticks and we're going to make notes out of this that's what's so cool to me yeah right yeah Sometimes i have no it's idea just yeah. in you yeah. Oh, yes. Well, the original music was in that. A, it was, was in that. that. It was yes. that. Yeah. You know, I get my beat. I, I'll come back and I say, guys, I got a great beat for this. But I get it because my wife knows where I sleep at night and she hits my head. I love that. And she drums on my head until I get it right. And the next day I turn it into a positive. I love that. <laughs> All right, girl. Ruben, hit us with our third track. I love that. I love her. She still knows where I sleep. <laughs> <laughs>
Clap, ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, man. I mean, Tom Jones, first of all, right? Mm. And that song. Who doesn't know that song? Uh, he's my father. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's such a beautiful song. You did a great job. Thank you so much. That's, Thanks. That song touches everyone, mm. right? It does. It, it's, uh, I saw it. I, I've been singing that for a long time when I had a, you know, when I had a younger voice. And I saw a couple of people doing it, and I said, oh, I should really do that song again. Uh, Ken Ryan was one guy I saw doing it. I said, eh, why am I doing this? So we had a pause when I was recording, and I said, hey, I got this track. Let's just throw it up there. That was a one take. That, that was, was a one take, yeah. see? Yeah. Just, just That's what you said before yep. about just yeah. playing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. So, you know, so, oh, excuse me a second. Okay, what's next? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to give you guys a real live treat right now, right oh, here. Gosh. Okay, are you up for it? Take a sip. Let's oh, go. Oh, God. Take a sip, take I'm a trying. sip, take a sip. <laughs> mm. Let us know when you are ready. Which song you want me to sing? Okay, Ruben, what song are we, are we having him sing first? Yep, what's, what's the name <laughs> of the song? Such a Night. Okay, oh. so guys, we're going to give you a real treat here, okay? So everyone, and anyone who knows me knows I am a huge Elvis fan, okay? And I know everybody thinks they're the biggest fan, but guess what? No, 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 honey. I am, I am. <laughs> this song, Such a Night, is the sexiest song Elvis Presley ever sang, and there's not too many ETAs out there that will even sing it for me. I've had a couple, and um, I'm going to give some you know, homage here. So Peter Alden, God rest your soul, he sang it for me, and he did a great job. Um, he's smiling now, and mm. he's going to be listening to you, okay? Oh, God, so, patient. yes, so he's going to be singing Such a Night, and listen, a lot of heavy breathing at the end of this song, and oh. I better hear it. All right, let's do it, <laughs> right? Let's Thank do you. it. It was 
right Oh, what a night it was, it really was Such a night when we kiss I had to fall in love, oh baby That night, oh, what a night It really was such a night Just the thought of the lips, oh, the lips It really was such a night My heart and my love in the night was gone But I never forget of the kiss of the kiss in the moonlight Oh, such a kiss Oh, such a night Oh, it was the night Oh, what a night it was, really was such a night Came to dawn And my heart and my love in the night that was gone But I never forget of the kiss of the kiss in the moonlight How well I remember And I'll always remember Oh, yeah, that night Oh, what a night it was, it really was Such a night when we kissed I had to fall in love But I gave my heart to her in sweet surrender How well I remember And always remember ooh, that night. Oh, what a night it was, it really was. As a night when we kissed, I had to fall in love. Well, she's gone, gone, gone. Yes, she's gone, gone, gone. Came to dawn, dawn, dawn. And my love was gone. But before that dawn, yes, before that dawn, and before that dawn, oh, oh, yeah, such a night, yeah, baby, oh, just squeezing me, honey, come on, a little more, oh, yeah, bam. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't take it. Sorry about the beginning. I Sandman, got to go baby, Sandman, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it even over. No. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, I've been dying to do that thank for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Okay, but that was great. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, that was so great. All right, so wasn't that great, ladies? Okay, all right. So this guy is just so cool, all right? He's ridiculously cool. He's silly, he's funny, he's got it all. Okay, you put this guy up on the stage and this is what you're going to get, guys. So you have to go check them out, okay? You have to check them out. Oh. You guys are awesome. Thank you that so much. Cool. Thank you so much. It was great. I enjoyed it. I, you know, I know somebody who has a, what are those called? The, the cell phone ring chime? That's that song. <laughs> so Verizon doesn't allow, okay, so when, all right, so I had a couple of Elvis songs and one of them was Hard-Headed Woman and Such a Night. So Verizon no longer allows you to hear the music when you call me. Oh, really? Yes. So people would call me up, mm. and they used to say, don't answer. Please don't answer. I just want to hear your music. <laughs> They're like, okay, call back, okay? Now they won't let it happen because even copyrights with that. Right. But right. that's ridiculous to me. Yeah. Well, when I, you know, my, my other band is the Downtrack, Backtrack Band. And uh, we, you asked this morning about the copyrights. Well, I have to pay for that. Yeah. You have to pay if you're just going to be, you know, singing no, in your I house. No, I get that to and a you have point. To, yes, I know. Some of these songs are s like... Okay, to a point. Right. A, a ringtone? Come on. No, I, I agree yeah. with you. They I, should be so happy. I agree with you. We're keeping the music alive. Quick story. Okay, we have our neighbor um, who wrote uh, Tony Pabone, my brother's neighbor. He wrote... Um, this is great for you. He wrote um, uh, Have It My Way, whatever, what was it, Diane? My Way? 
No. It oh. was, um, well, I, I know we wrote something. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it was a ding, 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 it work with me. Dun, dun. Oh, baby, I like it like oh, that. Okay, I yeah. like I it. Like Thank you. I'm sorry, it's senior. I like it like that. I like it like that. Yeah. So, I like it like that. Like it like uh, that. He was great. He told me so many stories. Uh, basically, what happened with that song, he was part of uh, an, a band, and he wrote the song, and he gave it to the, the Miguel, whatever it was, he, to, to sing, and he, and he had laryngitis. He said, you wrote the song, you sing the song, and he's not a singer, and it was perfect voice. Anyway. Flash forward, he, start, he becomes a DJ and, uh, on radio, and, he, and they, they have no money at this point because the radio station changed genres, whatever it is, and it was country, whatever. And he said, what am I going to do? And, he, and, he's, and his, he said to his wife, God's going to provide for me. Don't worry. He has a heart attack. He's in the hospital, no insurance, nothing. Okay. And, th and they're just holding hands. He said, I'm telling you, it's going to work. God will provide for me. Well, number one, he provided him by not getting too sappy, but with him living. Okay. But second, all of a sudden, a knock at the door came because he wrote it. It's Burger King. And they want to use that song. I, I like it okay. like that. And he, and it went from there into movie theaters, into other commercials, into many, many movies. And all of a sudden, and then, this is what made me think of it, a ringtone. And I can tell you, thousands of dollars a month for that ringtone thing, uh, so download. I'm telling you, it was amazing. So you never know. So I have to share a story with you guys. Mm -hmm. So a light bulb just went off about what my new ringtone might end up being. All right. I want to read a poem for you guys, okay? I usually wait till close to the end, but there's a reason I'm going to do it now, and then I'm going to tell okay. you something incredible that's happened, and you're going to love this. Is it okay? about me? Well, it's not about you at Damn this it. moment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> at this moment. So everybody's born with talents, right? Mm -hmm. And no one, you know, everyone says, like, oh, my gosh, they're such great singers. They're such great artists. They're such this. You know, I don't have, I'm not good at anything. No, yes, you are. You're not utilizing your gifts. Because every single person, God didn't make you to be better than him or him to be better, right? Or me to be, no. God gave everybody talents. Okay, so I wrote this poem to show, especially, I'm going to use the word older people, all right? Mm -hmm. Especially older people who think they're too old. You're never too old not to do anything. I interviewed a woman close to 90 years old, live in studio. She wrote a book this thick, guys. It was amazing. Then she wrote book two and then passed away a year later. You're never too old. So I want to read this poem to you, and then i got to tell you something really cool. All right? Utilizing gifts and talents. We are born with talents. We are born with drive, with different gifts to help us thrive. I knew early on I was born to draw and paint to also write poetry and to talk without restraint. Our gifts and talents should all be used, God's gift to us not be abused. We can go far in life for sure, using our gifts to go on tour. All our talents should be used to create ourselves and more, but then our jobs to share them, to even up the score. You see, in life what's needed is not just for ourselves. Once our gifts are mastered, take them off the shelves. A living we can make by spreading them around, not just for the money, but to spread a peaceful sound. So don't take for granted the gifts you're given. Go out and spread the joy. Our gifts are not to be held back for us to self-destroy. Put your efforts forth. Do not hesitate, because all your talents, my friend, are never second rate. Never hold them back or you will surely die. Maybe not in body, but your soul will cry. Our gifts were made to share, our talents made to soar, go through life enlightened, and then you can roar. Be proud of who you are. Be happy you're alive. Once again, my friend, your gifts will help you thrive. By putting efforts forth, not keeping them at bay, your name will live forever, forever and a day. Mm. Go through life excited for what you sure can give to yourself and others is our reason to live. Our grave will be quite lonely, but our legacy lives on. So make sure people smile with the breaking dawn. Oh, okay, wow. boys? So I have something cool to tell you. Mm -hmm. So I read that poem when I did the interview with Trade Martin. Okay, now Trade Martin, forget it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, who hasn't the man worked with 
who hasn't he sang with he's a songwriter he is a producer he's a recording artist forget it the guy is still going incredibly strong I read that poem he calls he says on air first of all that he wants to write a song with me a Christmas song Nice. and I'm not a songwriter but he was like Jerry you, I'm gonna give you something you're gonna run with it so he did calls me up a couple days ago and he's like it's almost done and he's gonna be recording the song that could be the ringtone. There it is. <laughs> because they can't stop that, right? That's we own, right. we will own the rights. That's right. right. Nice. And there are agencies that put it out there. Okay, Very so good. Trade Martin, a huge shout out. Honey, I can't even tell you what you've done for me, but mm. imagine that. I, I think so it's great. It's a Christmas song, yeah. and it's going to be hopefully coming out soon. Okay, how about I, I, that? I'm That's in. great. So, great. We'll have it as your ringtone, too. Thank you. <laughs> is that a monthly thing? Okay. How cool is Do that, Do I get right? a seasonal rate? Okay, isn't that cool? So a discount? Now i got to talk to Trade. I'm going to be like, listen, we got to get this as a ringtone, man. I love it. All it's right? great. I had to tell you that story. I had to. Good. So what do you want to do? Okay, so now we're going to play another track. Oh, good. Okay? Good. So, Ruben, our next track. This is so cool. Should I tell him? You can tell him anything you want. No. Uh, say please. Uh, <laughs> Ken Ryan is saying hello to Mike and Steve. Uh, Thank you, Ken. We love you, man. We gave you a shout out in the beginning as well. Yeah. So this song I was singing, it, it's the Ray Charles one? Okay. So, and I just didn't want to do this one line in there that it should be a woman singing it. Okay. So my wife was definitely... You know, she cannot go in on a stage, you know, and she's only good for criticizing me. I was flat. I was this. And that. Anyway, <laughs> she's horrible with that. But so I made her sing one line and we oh put God. it in the song and it's kind of sexy. So wait, wait, it's not kind of sexy. It's very sexy. Hey, I saw her first. Okay. <laughs> very, and, and she's very sexy, honey. And she's very sexy. So, all right. Hit us, hit, it, hit us up with it, Reuben. That's not it. <laughs> uh, it's the, what is it called? Hallelujah, I just love herself. Oh, so, okay, so we're, because we're changing up right, the I routine. Love it was yeah. our fault, Reuben, sorry. sorry it's, Ruben. it's his fault. I'm messing this guy up all day today. Can you edit live? <laughs> yeah. Can you take the first two uh, verses of that song and out of here? <laughs> what are we doing? We're ready. I'm ready. No. Oh, oh. Um, I love it so. Hallelujah. I love it so. Okay. The next one we'll do will be the other one, Ruben. Mm. Stop messing him up. I'm okay. But I love Rubens. <sighs> it's nice not being perfect. Thank you. You know, just being... See? Loose. That, every go. time I got kicked out it's of nice, school, right? my wife's, my <laughs> wife, my mother would say, "It's don't worry, son. It's, it's good, but why are you getting kicked out all the time? He said, they never have the right curriculum. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, baby. You were doing it. It's coming, baby. It's coming. You said uh, hallelujah? Yeah. Where it says, I love you, I love you so. Oh, okay. And I do, Ruben. Oh, he loves you so, Ruben. I love you too, Zen. <laughs> okay, Diane, you're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, he saw me second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any day now, I will hear you say it. Where's my damn song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let me tell you about a girl I know. She is my baby and she lives next door. Every morning before the sun comes up, she brings my 
my coffee in my favorite cup. That's what I know. Yes, I know. Hallelujah, I just love the soul. When I'm in trouble and I have no friends, I know she'll go with me until the end. Everybody asks me how I know. I smile at them and say she told me so. That's what I know. Yes, I know. From one to fall, I hear a roll well, my joy in the evening when the sun goes down. When there's nobody else around, she kisses me and she holds me tight and tells me, Daddy, everything's all right. That's what I know. over there heck yeah baby heck yeah <laughs> i love it That's i had answer. to audition a lot of women for that <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women but you got the right oh one i got the right one you got the right I, one yeah and uh and, okay. i think we got another wait, <laughs> we got another message okay shirley girl is watching and listening okay in hong kong no oh, shirley, shirley girl oh, shirley. yeah okay. our shirley girl ruben shirley girl shirley girl ruben saying hey Okay. <laughs> we love you, girl. So when we uh, do that song yeah. live next month. Yeah, we should do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it ain't happening. <laughs> right? We'll have Jerry come got on. It. I have don't it. sing. Listen, I don't mind coming on the stage. I, I can't I sing. I got an idea. Why you did all then. the women here <laughs> you did sing then. it to me? <laughs> well, Listen, that's, that's so funny. But that's the song. So. Ruben, hit us with another one. That was beautiful, by the way. Okay. Good job. Which on one? That. Which one? Good job. What now this will be the one that you thought we were gonna play. Okay. Oh no, that was. Uh, what, else, what else did you have? We had uh, Eddie, my love. No, we're gonna that play the number. One. We got to keep him in order now. In, in order, right? So the, okay. the number one that was five. The number one, because this will be our sixth song, Ruben. Yeah. So do number five, because remember you messed him up. Right. right. I did. Right. Yeah, I know. Purposely. <laughs> <laughs> What is number five anyway? The one that he started playing. Was that, um... We're all crazy here. Hit the road, Jack? Yeah. Hit the road. Messing us up. Do you want to do Eddie My Love or what's another one? Well, Eddie My Love is what's in, what, was somewhere do, in the line. What do we have on the on the list, Ruben left? Yes, that was Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think I messed Ruben up before. I have hit the road jack. Okay. Hit but the road jack. He we said did. you already played that. You played that. That's number five. Yeah, I know. Go. I didn't play it. What's that? He didn't. He did? did? Yeah. Yeah. I did? So. No, that was for um, rehearsal. Mm -hmm. No, we did it. We did? All right. Um, all right. Forget that one then. Forget that one. Because I play Evil Ways. 
We did that. We did that. Eddie and my love. We didn't do that. We didn't do Eddie and my love yet. No. Do you Eddie and my that? love. Do you? Let's do Eddie my love. Oh. Can we do Eddie? Uh, Eddie. Eddie. This, this shows off the harmony of our two lady singers, yes. Donna and Ellen. Donna and Ellen. Okay, cool. And you notice when they harmonize and it's so sweet, nobody else sings. It, it, you know, we, just them. Yeah. 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 Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Do it. Beautiful, absolutely that beautiful. Was it was. Donna and Ellen. Beautiful. I I wrote that song. I used to go. <laughs> do you want to hear something a little off color? Okay. I won't use any dirty words. Go ahead, go ahead. I was a very lonely teenager, so I used to go to the drive-in by myself. <laughs> I jump in the back seat and do push-ups, and everybody thought I was a stud muffin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So much for God in this. <laughs> oh, my God. Something is wrong with him, okay? Yes, a little something is absolutely wrong with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So what song would you like Ruben to play? Hey, now? Ruben. Hey, Ruben. Do you want to, do you have I Count the Tears? Okay. Let's do that, Ruben, live with no words. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's getting brave. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. I count the tears. I count the tears by the drifters. Written by my aunt, Michael Zamir. You did not hear that. 
I have counted every day since you've been away. It seems like a thousand years. And it's na 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 late at night. Na 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 late at night. I sit and count the tears. I have counted. All your lies, all your alibis. I'm a guy, believe just what he hears. And it's na 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 late at night. Na 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 late at night. I sit and count the tears. She's gone and found somebody new. may be happy now but soon he'll be counting every day since she went away it'll seem like a thousand years and it's na 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 late at night na 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 late at night he'll say and count the tears He'll sit And count the tears He'll sit And count the tears He'll sit And count the tears incredible you are oh Absolutely. god oh my gosh you make it so much fun thank you okay and that's what everybody needs they don't want to just hear the song they mm -mm. want it to be fun it, right it, and it, entertaining yeah, i'm with you okay amazing thank, thank you, you thank god you. bless wow that was great what do you think i know you're giggling over there and watching him and listening he makes it look easy yes <laughs> he makes it look easy you know you see a lot of performers they work hard but they look like they're working he never looks like he's working. No, right? Never. I'm very lazy. So funny. <laughs> so funny. Oh, my God. So, okay, Ruben, what do we have next? Since I'm partially lost here, uh -huh. I'll just read the list. I think we all are. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, oh, the way you make me feel. Um, the way you make me feel. Let's do that one now, That's Ruben. A good one. And I believe. Yep. Okay. Let's do the way you make me feel. The way you make a baby feel. I love that song. Yeah, and this is Donna showcase. We showcase Donna. On this yeah. Song. We have the four singers, so the rotation is good because every fifth song you see a singer. Okay. You know, so it's really good that way. And I, and I'm, if I'm right, Ellen was out for this one, yes. if I'm right. This was, yeah, this was last month. So, like, when somebody's out, it's double duty and everybody steps up. Oh, okay. It's really cool. All right. That's something I would like that, too. Can't be found. I would like that, too. We might play that one next. Okay, that showcase is Phil. Yeah. All right, we're going to play that next. We have time. <laughs> we'll really confuse Ruben. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, pretty baby with a high heels on. You give me fever like a tell. Baby, 
Cool, very cool, baby. Very, very, yes. very cool. Would you believe that we just did that song as a sound check? I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? I, almost. Okay, so what? An hour sound check? It, it, yeah. it was actually once. I mean, we it went yeah. in a practice, really one practice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Really. That's and, cool. Uh, and it's just good. Yeah, that was uh, done last Wednesday. Yeah. Very cool. So we were only going to play one more song, but mm -hmm. we're going to play two. Let's hit us, hit, hit us with the Elvis one. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Can't help myself. I heard it, and here we are. You know, I can be found ba, ba. sitting home all alone. Ba, ba. If you can't come around, ba, ba. Please, please telephone Bop, bop, bop Be cool Do all that's true Baby, if I made you mad Bop, bop Something that I might have said Bop, bop Please don't forget the past Bop, bop The future looks mighty You know I'm on the stage Don't be fooled to all that's true Why should we be apart? Baby, love you, baby, across my heart oh, Well, let's walk up to the preacher Let us say I do Then you know you have me And you know Heck yeah, heck yeah. So, 
Before we play the final song, I want to talk a few more minutes with mm -hmm. you guys. And I want to give, I'm going to ask you each a question, but then I want to give you each the mic. I don't want you to forget to tell anybody and everybody out there what's up and coming, what's happening, how they can get maybe some of your music. I'm not sure what's up with all that, like mm -hmm. your websites, everything and anything. I don't want you to forget to tell them anything. So, but before we do that, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. And these are silly questions that I love to know the answers to, okay? So, we'll start with you. And now, other than the Beatles, okay, did you have a favorite singer growing up or a favorite song? Uh, the Times. Okay. Um, so Much in Love. Yeah. That was one of my favorites That's back beautiful. then, early yeah, on. Yeah, 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 it was just such a good song. Once in a while, okay. all of the doo-wop stuff from the oh, 50s and it. 60s, I have older brothers and sisters, and that's what was played in the house the whole time. So that's what I grew up with, uh, 50s, 60s stuff. So um, uh, Rascals, one of my okay. favorite groups. Matter of fact, probably my favorite band anyway, uh, local to the area. So I saw them a lot. I was able to see them a lot. And um, Rare Earth. Okay. A, lot, a lot of the groups that played locally. I, I grew up on Long Island. I oh, wait, in where in Long Island? Roosevelt. My, I spent all my summers at Shirley. Shirley okay. Long Island. Okay. Yeah, there. that's where I'm, I had a, an aunt that lived out there, okay, Shirley. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, we were in, in, in further, and we went to Speaks all the time. Okay. Um, went to OBI. We went to all these, all these lounges, Tiger's Tail over in Hicksville. Mm -hmm. Billy Joel was okay. playing back. So all of the local Long Island groups, we were basically groupies. So that's what we that's what I followed anyway. So, so you were a groupie. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah I love yeah. that. In in the bars listening to the band, Sam. Yeah. Okay, Zam man. Well, since it's all about me, um let's see, uh doo -wop. Okay, Even here I was, we go. I was born in fifty four and the first time I heard Is this someone that I love? Let it please be you. When I heard that, I was like, oh, man, I was so hooked. <laughs> and then, I, I, don't, I might have told you the story. Um, uh, I lived in the Bronx for the first six, seven years of my life. And I would sing Elvis Presley. Oh, please, honey. 45. I had the color. I had a color cover. And I put it on my windowsill, and I would sing out the, Are you lonesome tonight? Right? Except by then, I was like, are you lonesome? Yeah, because I was, I was six <laughs> years old. And... Uh, <laughs> I want to feel lonesome tonight. <laughs> I still don't get the words right, but, uh, but um, so I sang that. So, and, and in the 60s, I was all over the place. I was into Hendrix. Okay. I was into pop, our friend Ken. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Casinos. Yeah, Ken Brady, baby. Ken Brady. And, um, and then it went up to, uh, but it always, always went back to doo-wops. Okay. Always. So, I was born in 61, and I mm. always say this. Um, I was born too late, okay? Not really. God had a plan for me. But I was born too late when it came to music. Elvis, oldies, and doo-wop. Don't ask me why with the oldies and doo-wop, but forget it. Forget about it. So, um, you know, what's funny is God, his timeline is so perfect. It's so perfect because if anyone would have told me that I would be interviewing these incredible legends, even getting a hello from them, let alone interviewing them, right? Having them sing to me, I would have said, absolutely not, how is that even possible, right? So God, so I guess I wasn't born too late. Um, God's timeline is perfect. And doo-wop, I'm gonna share something with you guys. These young, beautiful young singers that I've been interviewing, um, one of them, was 16 and said this to me. She said, if it wasn't for that music, they wouldn't be singing what they're singing. Mm -hmm. So these young people know good music and they know that that started it all, okay? Doo-wop to me is probably the most fascinating, incredible, because I love hearing a cappella. I love mm -hmm. hearing voices. And when they do doo-wop and add that little bit of music from their own mouths, I mean, that's off the charts, yeah. right? Isn't yeah. that incredible? Amazing. So that's real, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, you know, and and it's coming, it's coming back. It never really yeah. went away, but um, just to give you a shout out to my my kids who have been the best supporters. Uh, I have my one kid who's turning forty eight, Diane. Uh, 
when I was in a heavy metal band, he would come to the studio with me because we had custody. And, um, and so he went on to a band local in Colts Neck where we grew up, and they won Contemporary Christian uh, Rock Album of the oh, Year wow, at the Dove Awards. And then he went on to win a Grammy for uh, playing on Kanye West. And then he had his own solo stuff that's been in every movie, Youth, Mean Girls, Notting Hill, all these movies, and on TV and the, right and, and TV shows. And my other kids, I mean, the greatest support is my middle, my l youngest guy, who's Jason. I said your name, and and then it goes on. And the girls, I mean, we have I, we have five kids that I know of, and uh, I love him. And um, and it's just great that that they got something. That's right. We have five kids. Three of them still talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> but great influences. And then, and then when I met Steve, it was like, oh, my God, this guy loves the stuff that I love. So yeah. it was Amazing. just a great fit. So before we close with our song and before I say my thank yous to you, I want to give you guys the mic. Tell everyone out there whatever it is you want them to know. Go ahead. The uh, <laughs> Stonebridge Jammers uh, have a website. Okay, it's the, the Stonebridge the Sto StonebridgeJammers.com, and there's a lot of tunes, a lot of videos. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff with pictures that we uh, one of the uh, band members, Artie. He's the our photographer, yeah. and he's pretty funny. So there's a lot of uh, uh, pictures on the uh, website that are uh, nice to look at. But all of the songs are there, as well as we also did. Um, the soundtrack of a homemade movie in Stonebridge. Okay. Uh, it was called The Hospital Room, and there's a link to it on our website. And the uh, producers entered the soundtrack into the Garden State Film Festival so cool. uh, three or four years ago, and we won it. So we're now we're on IMDb. Yes. So if you look up the Stonebridge Jammers, we're on that too. Yay. So it's, uh, it's good. But we play the last Wednesday of every month. And uh, a big shout out to our groupies, our followers in Stonebridge, and there's uh, quite a few of them. So uh, StonebridgeJammers.com. What would you like to say? Well, um, um, some of my, I'm just starting a, a, a YouTube channel. I think it's Mike Zaman Music on YouTube, something like that. Anyway, just put my name and you'll see it. And uh, I, um, I do some solo. Uh, I even do adult homes if I can. By the way, never sing memories at adult home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you, you learn, you know. Oh. It's like same thing at uh, when you're at uh, Valentine's Day and you kind of come up and they go, please release me, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that, just, just, you learn. I'm learning. So uh, <laughs> I did that. And... Um, so, and I play with them, and I have a few solo gigs, and then I do go to Florida and do uh, some work down there, uh, Delray Beach area. And, um, and I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys, too. Uh, no, I said it first. Okay. And you've been so gracious to everybody, and you're gracious to making sure that people know that the music's still alive. Thank you. It has to be alive. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you guys um, for honoring me today with this incredible interview live in studio and bringing your two beautiful ladies here. Okay, thank you. That was our audience, by the way, guys. Okay, yes, yes, yes. They are absolutely beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I want to do something different today, Ruben. We're not going to close with my theme song. And there's a reason why. We're going to close with this next song. And we're going to pay honor to someone right yes okay larry chance yes who i will have lunch with one day in the diner okay yes so larry not only do i love you i mean that's in my aunt rest in peace from staten island she's the one who introduced me to larry and made him give me an interview okay um he's like family to me and i love him so much and I got you to talk to him. Yes. And he loved it. But oh, see, you great. made his day as well. Oh, he was great. He's such so, a beautiful man. Right? You made his day as well because they need to know that they're still remembered. They're still loved. If it wasn't for them, Larry, if it wasn't for you, 
forget it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this song is an incredible, incredible, incredible song. A lot of artists have sang it, okay? And they've all done a beautiful job with it. But when Larry Chan sings it, it's a little different. Oh, yeah. So now you guys are going to honor him yes. with this closing song. Okay, I want to say thank you to everybody out there. I want to say thank you to our Shirley girl, Ken Ryan, John Terlizzi, everybody who's listening. Please share this video. Okay? Amazing, 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 guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ruben, take us home, baby. So I know that. Yeah.